What's up kids? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, bought myself a set of these kind of uh, plastic rubber ice cleats for your feet and I thought today would be a good chance to show them to you. I've got some ice here. Uh, it's interesting because this is um, a combination of snow, some freezing rain, there's kind of a bunch of stuff. So there's some areas here where you've got a little bit of traction because of kind of the granularity of the snow sitting on top. Then you have this area here which is very slippery. Um, and so I thought it'd be a, a good quick little test to see how it does on hardened ice like this, but then also uh, hardened snow, compacted snow, uh, because that's, you're probably going to run into both of those. So the, the difference here with these ice cleats is that they don't go over your entire foot, obviously, like some of the, the wire ones that stretch from, from toe to heel. These go just over the, 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 heat, the toe portion of your foot. It does take two hands to get these things on. So the rubber here is really, um, it's pretty small and you have to use two hands to stretch it apart, which is good. So it'll really hold on tight into a shoe like I'm wearing here, but presumably even better, a boot or something that's a little bit larger. I wear size 10, FYI. There are an interesting, some interesting pattern on here. Um, you can see a little bit of these uh, crow feet type of um, tread design here. Then it looks like a little yellow polymer disc with a little metal cleat. It's kind of like a jean rivet. They're not huge, they're not pointy, and they're only a couple or a few millimeters thick. So I'll we'll give it a shot here. And on the ice itself, oh, holy smokes, I'm actually pretty impressed. Obviously, you have to balance yourself up on the front portion of your feet, which is where you're going to have all your fine control on the foot anyway. But, man, you know what? These things work great. In fact, I can kind of destroy the ice if I'm really interested in doing that. These things kind of plow in there pretty good, even on this new ice. So, no problem there. And then on, the, on this kind of more coarse, old snow, Obviously, no problems there either. So, so thumbs up for these things. See, you know, pretty good value, pretty cheap. And if you're going to do some shoveling or just walking about on areas with ice and snow, and I'd recommend them. I'm gonna keep a few pairs of these around the house, a couple in the cars. Peter Von Panda out.